Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to pass along a quick review of a new Wet n Wild product that I picked up recently. It's part of uh, their new like spring limited edition line, I believe, and it's called the Geometric Highlighting Powder and the shade. They had several of these. I saw at least three in Rite Aid. That's where I got this, but the shade that I got is called Where the Dreamers Go. And uh, the packaging looks like this. I hope, hope you can see this. This lighting really isn't doing it justice, and I do apologize. But I'm still figuring out lighting and setup and everything, so just bear with me. <laughs> but um, uh, I hope you can see this. But basically, if you look at this product in the pan, you can see that um, it's you have different, it's kind of divided into different geometric shapes, hence the name Geometric Highlighting Powder, and um, the sections are different colors that are really similar to the types of shades that we're seeing in all these color correction products that are so popular right now. You have um, some green, um, some lavender, yellow, and like a peachy orange type shade. And you have those all kind of laid together in the same pan. I don't want to say swirled together because they're not. They're not actually like mixed together. You know, each shade kind of has its own separate little section. And they're all just kind of pressed together sharing this one pan. It's a little better, hopefully. Hopefully you can kind of get the idea. And it does come with a little brush. Of its own so hopefully you can you can kind of get the idea of what it looks like but when I saw this in the store the reason that I picked up this specific one because like I said they did have um, one with some more like bronzy colors laid out in the same design I think there might have been like one or two more, but there were a couple. But the reason that this color scheme kind of spoke to me when I saw it in the store is because it looked a lot like a product that I've been kind of stalking in Ulta recently. And hold on, I just have to look up the name of it and make sure I get it right. It's the Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder. And I'm just going to try and show you a picture here on the Laura Geller website, and I don't know if you can tell, but it has that same type of look to it. It's different corrective type of shades pressed together in a compact. It's one of her like baked products, so this isn't baked. This is kind of one of those domed like baked products, but the idea and the layout is the same. You know, you have this pan with different corrective type shades all living together yet they're in their own little space and I've swatched the Laura Geller um, filter finish powder quite a few times in the store. I think it's beautiful but it is... it's $32. That's expensive for one powder. So when I saw this being wet and wild it's $4.99 which is a lot better deal and it resembles the um, Laura Geller powder and I was like okay maybe maybe this will be similar so I picked this up and I've been trying it out the past few days and um, the finish on this wet and wild powder is different than the finish on the Laura Geller product um, Again, I don't have the Laura Geller product, I don't own it, so I can't compare them side by side. But just from swatching the product in the store and having watched some other videos on it, this product is considerably less shimmery. And the Laura Geller one isn't like, you know, over the top sparkle and glitter, but it does have significantly more sheen to it than this does. The thing that's kind of cool about this product is I'm just going to kind of swirl my finger through all the shades and I don't know if you can tell but this is like a pearly type of shade but it's not really shimmery it 
has kind of a satin finish in certain lighting. You know, as I turn my hand, this really isn't doing it justice at all. But you can see it catches the light at certain angles and has somewhat of a sheen to it. But there are also certain angles from which this product almost looks matte. And I personally think that's really cool and I don't own a whole lot of products like this. I mean, I love a nice shimmery metallic highlight, don't get me wrong, but I also have really oily skin and so I do appreciate a product that can brighten because this does deliver a nice amount of brightness, but it doesn't do it with any type of um, sparkle or shimmer. You know, it kind of just gives you a, a very subtle glow. And it actually, in that respect, reminds me more of another Laura Geller product that I do own and love, and it's the Baked French Vanilla Highlight. That gives a really beautiful, subtle kind of lift to the face. You know, it, it manages to, you know, kind of catch the light and give you somewhat of a, you know, a brightened, no, actually, a, a not somewhat, a, a, it gives you a pretty brightened look, but there's no shimmer in that product, there's no sparkle, it just, the tone of it and the way that it looks on the skin is what provides the brightness, and this is very similar to that. You know, there's no shimmer or sparkle, but just the tone of it provides a nice amount of brightness and lift throughout this area. And so, um, you know, as I'm turning, as I'm turning my head here, you can see. And um, actually, I am wearing this product today, but with another product kind of layered over it. So what I did was I, um, I went in with this brush. This, <laughs> I don't even know if this brush is available anymore, and if it's not, I'm sorry, but it's the brush that I use pretty much every day for my cheek highlight, and it's the Essence of Beauty Blusher Brush. These are like the OG CVS brand brushes that were available back in the day. Don't know if you can get them anymore, but they were bomb. They were such good quality. I've had this thing forever, and it's still going strong. And um, so what I do is I went into this product, I, you know, laid it down on top of my cheekbones and then I went in with a little bit of the Becca product topped it off with that and that's what's giving me this beautiful glow that you see today but I did wear this yesterday by itself and you know it looked beautiful it wasn't as you know it wasn't quite as shimmery as the look that I have today but it just gave me a nice brightened, lifted look, but in a subtle way. And I think some of you out there might see these more metallic, glowy highlights and think, I want a little bit of brightness to my face, but I don't want any part of the, like, <laughs> over-the-top sheen. And if that's the case for you, then I think you might actually really enjoy this product. You know, it is subtle if glow and that beautiful metallic brightness is what you want. This isn't going to give you that, but if you want something that's more toned down and just gives you kind of a naturally brightened effect, um, I think you might actually enjoy this. And I did want to get this video up fairly quickly because, like I said, it is limited edition. But, um, yeah, if you see these, you might want to check them out. I think they're pretty cool. Or at least this one. This is the only one that I have. I can't speak for the others. But uh, that's just my two cents on it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.